So the first one I wanted to show is uh, basically the search functionality in Business Central and an entering of data. What does that look like? And um, I just wanted to show the user-friendly uh, nature of it and, and some features there. So if we are entering an invoice, I'll just use this as an example. And let's click on new. All right, so if we wanted to enter a new invoice to a customer, there's various ways where we can enter the customer number. So uh, the first one, you can look it up. So click the drop down and just choose which one. Um, the next way is you can actually just start typing. And I'll just show you the, the kind of the uh, powerful functionality within Business Central in, in entering data. So you can start entering, say we want to do the the one here for 2000, this customer number 2000, you can start typing it and then it'll show up. You, you don't even have to enter the whole number. You can just enter two, zero, zero, and then it'll start filtering it there. Also, you can also just, if you don't know the number, you can start entering the name of uh, the company. So say we just know um, tray research. So it'll start filtering it there, or we just know the second word. It'll also pick that up. So research, it'll pick that one up as well. And to take it further, you can actually, so there's other columns here, other fields. So if we knew the zip code, this is very unlikely, but I'll just show you an example here. So if we know the zip code of 37125, if we enter that, it'll pick it up as well. Or we just know the contact. So let's say we know Ian, this, this one here. Uh, so Ian, start typing Ian, Ian De Deberry, um, and then it'll filter it there. So really uh, powerful functionality with Business Central when you're entering, entering information. You, you don't really have to know the exact details of your customer. Um, if you just know some parts, you can start entering it and Business Central will find it for you. Okay, so that's just an example of entering it within Sales Invoice, but uh, virtually anywhere where you're entering data. So let's do purchase or let's do a journal entry, for example. Let's, let's go over that. If we say the, uh, the area that you're probably entering is the account number. So if you don't know the exact account number, but you know the name, so maybe there's a travel, or no, let's do expense. So let's do an example of, we wanna charge interest expense. So we just know we wanna charge it to that GL, start searching it, and it'll populate with the GL accounts that have interest in their, in their name. Right? So that's just an example there. So really cool functionality there, which I'll delete. Oh, Business Central doesn't like that. Uh, let's get out of there. Okay, so that's um, entering data. Another cool feature is the search functionality in Business Central. So um, you really don't need to know where to click through. Um, uh, there's, there's kind of a, a, a more common way of navigating Business Central. Uh, which is the search functionality here. So if we wanted to say enter an invoice, um, we just search for it. So purchase invoices, that's really where you would go. So this window here, um, but this, this search functionality is really powerful as well. So if we just know, say the first three, it'll start, um, it'll start filtering and, and trying to find within the system where you're trying to go. So purchase invoices. So if we wanted to say, go to that purchase invoice, so we don't even have to type in the whole word. We can uh, type in part of the first word and part of the second word, and then it'll find it, purchase invoices, okay? Um, so that's really cool there. And then also if you click show all, sometimes it just shows a select group, some, which is the, the most popular choices depending on your search. But if you click show all, it'll show everything. 
uh, and then the various sections here. But the really cool feature is general. So let's search for general journals. It'll even show documentation. So if you're ever um, lost and don't know how to do a certain functionality in Business Central, there's this documentation section on whatever you're searching. So if you click show all, it'll show you all of these um, resources to go to uh, on how to do certain functionality. Okay. So that's really cool there in the search functionality there. All right, so that's um, a feature I wanted to show.